one, action. Hi everybody, well, you see, you, you, all you classmates know that I, I have been like, well, we, we've all had to make our own project of, like, like Mr. Ransom said, about space. And, you see, because I like to be funny and all, so I'm using my guinea pigs to, like, talk about space and all. So, so, like, it'll be funny and stuff. But I just want to say, like, thank you to my dad, he helped, David Edwards. Thanks to my mom, he helped. Thanks to my brother for one part of the idea. And thanks to George Lucas for helping me direct it. But as I am the director, though, I hope you enjoy the movie. Oh, nice. Can I have a nibble? No, only you like nibbling walls. I don't. Well, I don't mind nibbling walls. Who's that on the wall? Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, class, let's go to the facts. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. And it is the second smallest planet in our solar system. Don't forget, Mercury has no moons. That's dumb. Okay, right. Mercury was a Roman god of astronomy mythology. Cool. Stop shouting out! Anyway, Mercury has lost gravity. Cool. I wish I could jump there. Me too. Well, Mercury, you would weigh less, too. And Mercury is a lot like Luna, our moon. It has creators. Next week, we will look at Venus. Now go up, go up to break time. Have fun. Yay! Yay! Venus has thick clouds. Well, let's get started. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, Miss Marge. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Miss Marge. Full house. Well, let's go to the facts. So who knows Venus's sister? Me, me. Yes, Meg? Earth, because Venus is hot, fiery, and Earth is calm. Correct. Well done. What planet is next to... Next... Now what planet is it next to? Mercury! Mercury! Yes. Well, let me tell you something about Venus. Living things would, wouldn't survive on it, so it is a boiling planet. Ooh! Hey, I don't want to go there. You won't. Don't worry. You know, I found out that Venus has lots of volcanoes and mountains. Yes, that is true. And Venus was the Roman god of love and beauty. Do you know her name? Yes, Aphrodite. Correct. Please remember to bring your packed lunch for tomorrow. Bye. 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 Well, I've not had any breakfast. Well, ha, this is well. Well, sorry, but I've eaten all my breakfast. But there's no less for you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was late. I will be next time. That's fine. A topic today is Earth. Earth has... Why are we doing Earth? We live there. Because Earth is in our solar system. Naughty, naughty, Miley. Hey, I didn't do anything. Stop arguing, just get along. Sir, yes sir. <laughs> As I was saying, Earth has one moon which is called Luna. And who knows how many people live on Earth? I do, I do. Well, you're shouting out, Mary, do you know? I think it is seven billion people. Yes, well done. Can 
I share a fact? Yes. Earth is the only planet that in our solar system that has life forms in uh, it. <laughs> you silly. Correct. Now, Earth has a sister. Oh, so we're living on a boy? Maybe, maybe not. Can't tell you. But the sister is Venus. Go Venus! Go Venus! Go Venus! Haha. <laughs> 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 70% of it is covered in water. I knew that. Mm. Are you okay, Miss Marge? Mm. What's happening? You, you keep shouting it out. No one has ever visited another planet. Cool. I hope you like this trip. Next week, we are going to Mars, so get oxygen and sleep. Cool. Ooh. Bye bye. See you next week. Yee! Hi, class. Wait, Miley. You keep giggling. Well, it's because we're going to Mars today. Oh yes, you should be excited. Are you excited, Meg? Yes, very, 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 okay. very, very. Okay, Meg. We get it. He's getting the rocket. Oh, I found out a really good fact about Mars. Can I share it? Yeah, sure. Go on. Well, we have to be very, very careful on Mars because there is lots of dirt and rocks everywhere. I know. So, shall we get in the rocket then? Yes, I know. If you want to eat some of Mars, please do. <laughs> Class, may I have your attention? Yes. Let's go to the facts, eh? Some people call this planet the Red Planet. Ooh. Yes, Mars was a god in who knows the answer. Grease? Hey, I was going to say that. Mars has two moons. I know what one of them is called. Demos. Miley, do you know the other one's name? Yes, Phoebus. Did, did you know? Mar Mars has plants, rivers, streams, lakes, even an ocean. Don't forget it has an atmosphere. Oh yes. Have a play. Then we'll head back to Holmes Chapel, eh? Hey? Whee! See you! Well, we're going to Jupiter. Cool! What's Jupiter? Yeah, what do you think? Well, Jupiter is a planet which has 50 moons. Well, is it the one with faint rings that only show if the sun is near it? Yes. Let's go then. Yeah, but I have a, a great fact. Can I? Save it, Meg. Tell us when we're there. Okay. Go! Are you guys alright? Yes. Can I share my fact? Not now. In a minute. Well, Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system by far. And the Earth could go, and the Earth could fit into it more than a thousand times. Yes, that's right. And Miss Marge, let me show you my fact. Okay. Jupiter has a really dangerous storm. Oh gosh, yeah, it's in now. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing we've 
about Boots of Saturn by the tornado we thing. I told you. I know. I'm sorry, mate. But how did we get through ring A and B and C and D and E and F and G? Yeah, how? Who knows? Well, no hair. Well, I found out a brilliant fact. Mm. Well, Saturn's most known and popular moon is Triton. Correct. And Saturn is 50 moons. May I share a fact? Yeah, go on. Give it a shot. OK. Saturn was a Roman god called Cronus. And if you went on Saturn, you would weigh less. So Meg needs to be there. <laughs> hey, at least I know what Saturn's rings are made of. Water, ice and some dust. I know that Saturn is a lot like Jupiter by the size. And if you are coming to Uranus... I beg your pardon? Hey Meg, she means the planet. Oh... So if you're coming to you, Amos, hop in a rocket then. Let's go. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. Blast off! Ah! We're here! Cool. You know, I've got a brilliant fact. Can I share it? Yeah, go on. Well, Uranus has got 27 moons, and I mean 27 big moons. And it was a Greek lord of the skies, also... Meg, say some, say some facts from my way. Yeah, Meg, say some facts. Do you have a fact, Miley? Yes, I certainly do. Uranus has a husband, which is Earth. Correct. And Uranus has rings, which are very small. Kind of. And a sun, which is Saturn. Really? I didn't know that. I knew it because I'm so clever, but Uranus is like Saturn and Jupiter by size. Did you know this, Meg? Well, I know you don't know this. Uranus was a god, but not just any god. He was the king of gods until he was took over by Saturn. Correct. So, shall we use the Neptune then? Yeah! Okay. Uh, are you right, Meg? I don't like water. <laughs> well, we'll survive. Come on, so, but you'll have lots of fun. Uh, okay. Let's go! I think we're here. Yep, we are. And I don't like Neptune. We're on a rock. And surrounded by water. I know, calm down. Neptune is the first loser that we know of. I think Neptune was a Greek god. Correct. And Neptune has his very own atmosphere. Do you know? Here we go again. I have got a brilliant fact. May I share it? Yeah, go on. Neptune drinks. No, seen. To be new, and Neptune was the god of water up to the sea, which I don't like because I don't like water. Uh, okay, Meg, we will leave because you hate water. And shall so, so we just fly to Pluto then? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. We will stay here for a very long time. Yeah, I know. Who knows how many moons Pluto has? Me. Three moons, and the word Pluto means all men must go. Oh, Meg, and I suppose you have a brilliant fact. Oh, yes, I do. Oh. Pluto was named by a little girl who was 11, and her name was Venetia Burney, and wanted the planet to be named after a god. Correct. Right. Miley, which planet is your favourite? Um, probably Mars. And you, Meg? 
Well, it's definitely not Neptune. Get over it. Hey, <laughs> Venus. It's got to be Venus because it's hot and fiery like me. <laughs> well, mine is Uranus. But let's stay here a bit longer. Say a big thank you to Miss Ransom for letting us do this project. One, two, three. Thank you, Mr. Ransom. Bye, bye, bye. bye.